What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, all right. What's up guys? Welcome back to the next week. Um, today we're going to be doing something I've wanted to do for a very long time and that is install a downpipe. This is a NVIDIA downpipe. See the box down there? It's blurry, but there it is. Um, so we're gonna be installing that today. The reason I'm doing this is for one, because I like my car loud, kind of, somewhat loud. Um, not ricey loud, but anyway, I went with the one with the high flow cat. We're gonna be putting that on the car because uh, I'm going stage three with torque performance, a stage three torque performance tune, which requires or calls for an aftermarket downpipe with a high flow cap. So I finally pulled the trigger on it, went ahead and bought it. Um, this isn't going to be like a step by step instructional video, really. I don't think. There's only um, five, six bolts. Hold on. One, two, three, four. There's only five bolts. Let me show you. So if you come in through here, that's my turbo heat shield. So on the back side of that, there is five bolts that you take off. And there's also, you can see back in there, there's an O2 sensor back in there that I gotta take off too. And I did get the downpipe with the second O2 sensor in it for that reason. So I'll go ahead and unbox this. It does not come with the turbo to downpipe gasket. So make sure you order one, and I would hit up Grimspeed on those because they make quality, quality gaskets. Everybody says to go to that. But uh, let's go ahead and unbox this. Oh yeah. I ordered this from Rally Sport Direct, by the way, and I used Schmedia's code, so shout out to him, that saved me a lot. This comes with the bolts, the gasket, and the sticker down for the mid pipe, to connect the down pipe to the mid pipe. Um, obviously the sticker is not for that, but I guess you could put it down there if you want to bake it onto your results. Anyway, here is the down pipe. Looking real nice. Man, I've been wanting one of these for a while. I just never pulled the trigger on it. Show it to you guys. There's right at the bell mouth. It is a divorced wastegate. It's just so quality. Look at these welds. So nice. I cannot wait to install that. I did record a sound clip of the stock downpipe. So what I have is a completely stock exhaust except for the axle back which is just the bumper removed, replaced with a pipe right out the back. So it's a stock exhaust with no muffler is all it is. But uh, one thing I forgot to mention is while I'm under the car, I think I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm gonna start by removing the turbo heat shield um, honestly, I might take out the intercooler just to get it out of the way, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the intercooler out and then I'm going to take the turbo heat shield off and, uh, undo the O2 sensors, jack the car up and do all that. Let's get into it.
All right, we got the other down pipe out, kind of. Here's the other one, nice and ugly. So that O2 sensor is seized in there hardcore. I ain't getting that out. All right, guys, I need to give you a little update. Whoa. All right, guys, I need to give you a little update. I got the downpipe in. I had some rusty, corroded, heat, screwed bolts that I had to fight with. But I got it out, I got the downpipe in. The old O2 sensor is seized in there, which, which really sucks because now I got to order one and wait for it to come in before I can put it in, finish this up, start it. So let's go ahead, get that ordered and throw it in. Let's try to, uh, let's work on this O2 sensor a little more guys. I'm going to heat it up. We got it guys. Is it still gonna work? I got no idea. That sucker is crushed. <laughs> oh, but we'll find out. Okay guys, we got that O2 sensor out. I wanted to use that one just because a Subaru O2 sensor is like $250. You can get cheap ones off Amazon, but I'm hoping this one still works because I beat it up a little bit getting it off because it was just hardcore seized in there. But um, at least now we'll be able to hear the car start. Uh, before we do that though, while the car's in the air, I am going to go ahead and change the oil because I want to have a fresh oil change before the before all these parts go on. So let's go ahead and get the oil change real quick. Uh, 5W30 for those of you that don't know, but uh, let's jump into that.
All right, guys, uh, one thing that we do have to do when we are done with the oil, when we are ready to start it up, we do need to, um, hold on. We do need to load the tune on it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to load a Cobb OTS tune just for a cat it down pipe on there. Um, Cause you do need a tune with, with a down pipe. If you wonder why you need a tune, go look at my last video. I really explain I really explain tuning and Subarus and when you need to tune, when you don't, why, you know, all that. So go check out that video. But uh, we're gonna load that OTS tune on there. In the meantime, while we're waiting to get all the parts on for our torque performance tune. Okay, so you guys don't have an OTS tune for like your cob down pipes? Okay guys, I just wanted to give you, give you a little update on what, I've been, what I have been doing. It's been a little bit since that last clip, but um, so cob, as, as you guys know, if you don't know, look it up, but cob, um, Cobb changed all their maps to be eco-friendly. So if you updated your access port, you're screwed. But if you didn't update it like me, um, you still have all the old maps. But I was trying to find, um, give me a second here. I was trying to find what map to use with the downpipe and the um, cold air intake. I'm 99% sure it's a stage two tune, so I just picked the latest version of the stage two tune and loaded that on there. Anyway, we're ready to start this thing up. <laughs> See what it sounds like. I hope it's loud. Uh, I'm gonna throw you guys back there and we're gonna start it up. guys the car sounds great um, it has it has a it's not much louder it just has a little bit different tone to it but I, I, I like it I like it a lot it's gonna be great um, it was just a power it was just a mod for this but it's gonna be great uh, I did have some DAM reading go down to 0.05 or 0.5, which I don't like. I'm not sure what that's all about. Might be the tune. Um, but anyway, not too worried about that because I'm gonna be getting an e-tune here soon. And it's, uh, it should fix everything. And if it doesn't, I can talk to the tuner. So that'll be good. Uh, the next install is gonna be the Process West intercooler vertical. So tune in for that if you want to see that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.